Hi, it's me, Pam Van e. Hope you're having a great day. Um, today, I don't want to forget, I need to do a VR <clears throat> for um, Cornflower Crafts. Corn, uh, she has a very fun, cute channel, um, very talented crafter, and she has a music journal giveaway. So I want to send... Um, you over there and I will put the link to her channel uh, in the description below and um, check it out this talented crafter uh, show her some love and um, check out her beautiful music journal so thanks for doing that giveaway corn all right I get to check that off okay so um, let's do that that'd be great to support corn all right, and also today, I did so in my signatures um, in this medical and health encyclopedia. It's really cool, textured. So I have all that, but I thought I'll show you how I what I did and how I actually did it. Okay, so here's your book. You know, this one might uh, it's about the same. Yeah. So all I did was. I took the book and it has this type of spine. And put your finger through here so it's not like glued directly to this. So it's so easy to take the book block apart. I just took a scissors and cut it. Right here, and that couldn't be any easier, could it? I have a bit of a you want to be careful you don't go through to the um, you know, if you want to keep if you want to keep this, uh, what do I do? So just don't cut into that. Okay, now you're gonna have this big book block and you're going to do the same here this one's already kind of broken there we go so you have that and i'm going to probably add you know, I can add illustrations and things. This was like an encyclopedia type book. The Illustrated Medical and Health Encyclopedia. You just use whatever you have. I found this at a garage sale. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just glue down right here just to give it more stability I guess I could use my uh, three in one or but um, just glue this piece down if you have this left over probably depends on your book and then What I did let's see is there anything there's not a whole lot on this side just depending on how you cut it okay and then I just said you know what this is gonna be a grungy type um, you know, eclectic journal. So let's, I just happened to find this that was just laying around and it's a um, shelf liner. You know, like, like this rubberized felt um, uh, liner. 
for your drawer. And I thought, I'm going to use this as a binding. It will be nice and strong. I'll get my 3-in-1 glue or a good hold glue. And then I just cut it to size. You want it to be a little bit over, you know, here's your inner spine. You know, you want a little bit over each side. I just cut it to where I thought it might be good. Like so. And then you can just go along whatever line this is here. Shelf liner is what it is. So we will cut that. And if you don't have this and you just want to use fabric or something, you could do that too. Then we'll cut it to, well, it's kind of fun to leave a little bit hanging over. I don't know if I'll keep it, but it gives me the option to do that. That might be fun to put in the journal too. Then... And it does take a little bit to dry. Just line it up. Then after this, I'll show you the flip through of what I've done so far. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. Making this type of journal. And you should have a nice, strong, sturdy um, reinforcement to your spine. So it's kind of a fun way and a new way to uh, strengthen your spine. And I have an old or a wet wipe that I'll push it in a little bit. And you just let it dry. And bingo bango, you've got a reinforced a little spine. You can push it in the grooves if you want a little bit. I would let it dry for a while and then you can add your signatures. So how easy is that? I like it. So that's what I did and then I sewed my signatures in. And I do have you know how to sew signatures in in other videos. You can always look at that or or um, just Google sewing in um, a pamphlet stitch or using a pamphlet stitch to sew in signatures. Okay, I probably don't have a lot of time because uh, my husband and his friend are going to be cutting down a tree. Uh, I hate to see them go. They're, they're birch trees and they're such beautiful trees, but they're, um, they are leaning toward our house, so... Yeah, there'll be some chainsaw action soon, so I'm going to just make this short. Okay, so, um, uh, you know, I showed you the pages. Here's how I sewed it in. I used embroidery floss. I like using it because it can be the color um, to the spine, and then here's that little, um, what we use for the spine. And I don't know if I'll keep it, but I'll just have it there for now. So let's just do a short little flip through now. Of course, it's not near done. I, th I think that's just kind of funny, the the illustrations of the uh, this medical book. Quirky. 
So we have little coffee dye pages. Here is the little paper sack. I think it was like a silverware sack, and I did coffee dye these paper bags. You know, I still have to do something here, but uh, show you what I have. And then I had this that came out of a binder, and I coffee dyed it. And it kind of goes with this book page. Um, that was the book, How to uh, Build a House for $3,500, that vintage book. And the color looks good here. So I like how it goes against this, too. And I could do something fun with the holes here. So I'll probably add that. And then you would have, I would leave an opening here, and then here. I guess we could do it real quick, right? Let's see how much time we have. And then we continue on the flip through. So, I think this might be good right here. I like that. And then I just want it to be open on this end. And then the envelope side at the top will be open too. So I'm thinking that would be fun. Okay. I'm really enjoying these. I didn't know I'm more, you know, I like a lot of color, but um, I'm really enjoying this. It's fun to mix things up, right? Okay. Okay, then I had this uh, page from the, like I said, that building book. Uh, here is the coffee dyed uh, ledger. It was a long one, so it will fold out on the other side. Then coffee dyed. Here's that uh, cal calligraphy book. I like all the different pages, types of pages, coffee dyed. Got a nice texture to it. Here's part of the um, medical book. Temperature body. Uh, I don't know. Is this my ledger or this could be a, a digital from Studio Studio Twenty Eight E? And then it's been coffee dyed. This is ideas for the home. Um, and here, I mean, you can learn things here. Look at this. To prevent soiling of mattresses. This is tip ten, a thousand forty nine. I can't remember what year this is. For the care of bedrooms, a large, clean apron should be worn by the bed maker. If she has much housework to do, a pair of white cotton sleeves to be slipped on before making beds will be found a great assistance in preventing bed linen from becoming soiled. So, I hope you uh, will be learning something from this journal because... Yeah, look at all the tips here. I, I never would have thought to put on a clean white, um, well, a large clean apron and white cotton sleeves. They can just be slipped right on over your, your shirt. <laughs> For making your bed. So, yeah, you got all these little hints. Okay, this page... I added this beautiful scrapbook paper from that Seven Gypsies pack, and something will be done there. There's the envelope that'll be used in some way. Um, that was that French writing. Here's an envelope flap with the math exercise that I added little strips to two. I just uh, glued it. A math book. This is the uh, coffee dyed little uh, book. Um, and it's got lace and 
embroidery in that book. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but I think I may have bought this coffee dyed paper, but there's a little imprint of lace like. So I thought that went well together. Here's the mathematic book. What is mathematics? Here is an envelope. Ara. Yeah, I, well, paper bag. And then that's where I sewed it. I'm thinking about closing these up. And then I won't have the strings. And then what I could do. And then it could also be a tuck. So I could just cut the strings here and then let me just add some glue here too along here a bit okay and then that will be a little tuck here I've closed up the little paper bag like so. So you have a tuck here. And we have the other math book, Coffee Dyed, another lace embroidery type book with more a little lace imprint here. It has a nice smell to it too. So when I bought it, it must have been scented. I'll add some like glue down here or uh, lace down here. This was a big envelope. Um, that I printed on, coffee dyed. Another envelope that I printed on, added a little piece of coffee dyed music paper to the flap, you know, where it's glued so it doesn't stick too much. That's an open window. Coffee dyed, more ideas for the home. This is a thicker, it's the other side of that ledger. Uh, medical book. Coffee dyed, other calligraphy page. And here is the other side. Isn't that beautiful? The other side of the uh, ledger. It's been coffee dyed. I did glue. And then you'll have pockets here. Because I folded it up. Landsca landscaping the plot. Shrubs. The digis that I listed in the first video of this series. I thought that was kind of fun, kind of cut it wonkily, and then I just like the look of that. Here's another, the other end of that little restaurant silverware paper bag holder. Um, coffee dyed, I love the, the way that looks there. Here I added a little um, pocket here, and then I have some digitals, if I can find them a minute, with a little, um, the old design shop, they're called Vintage Beauty Labels, that's the black and white, but here's the color, so I will be using these in the book, and uh, so I put this little pocket size complexion thing uh, round circle there and then this will be a little tuck and here's the middle of the signature now there is a gap here I could add another signature but the only thing about it being a little bit um, wider here is that things lay flat so if you want to write they're fairly flat now once it gets chunked up I don't know but if you had another signature in there um, it's not gonna lay as flat it's up to however you want to make yours here's the bag here I uh, sewed around this paper, and so you have a pocket, and then this was from the Dollar Tree, these labels. I backed it, cut it out, or took it out and backed it on some craft, and so now this is a kind of tight, but it is, it will have room for a little label of some sort, and I'll be able to label a little tag uh, coffee dyed did she here's the math book that i glued to make a pocket here 
just showing what I have so far. I think I got this from uh, my friend Donna in Spokane, who I went out to visit a couple years ago and also met uh, Stephanie with a couple paper scissors. So thank you, Donna. I love that with a rose. And there's a rose there. I coffee dyed it. And then coffee dyed doily. Let's see a little bit of this little texture here. Uh, like little lace imprints, coffee dyed grid. This is from a children's book. I just thought it was pretty and interesting and it doesn't have to be matchy matchy. It's the fun part of it. Um, music page. It's dyed. Here was the paper bag. I added, you know, sewed around here and then made it a tuck. Actually, there's two because the end that you fold, you know, the bottom bag part. So there's a a shallow tuck there and then there's this tuck here and then you will have this and I glued down all the little pieces that stuck up in the bag you know and then here's a tuck and it kind of went with this here and then this will flip out and then I'm gonna have another little pocket I haven't decided what and then <clears throat> then whatever tag is put in this pocket let's say this is a pocket whatever tag would be in here is going to shut this you know keep it from opening but i haven't decided what because i don't want it to be real matchy matchy and then added this here there's the map page and then had a little pocket here other side of the map and then here was a out of a binder type book uh, this is a digi um, I'm trying to think. I can't think right now. Um, and then I'm going to, I coffee dyed a few little things yesterday. I coffee dyed some laces. And uh, this lace that I got from BB. And uh, this piece. So I'm going to add this. We could do that real quick a minute. I think we've got a few minutes before the chainsaws start cutting. Let's add this here. And does this have to be a perfect straight edge here? No, it doesn't. We don't want it to. Okay. I think. This will be a little pocket here. I could trim off this little piece too. So that'll go like that. And we will add glue at the bottom like that. You can use whatever glue you like. I like hot glue, but you can also use your 4-in-1 or fabric tack. I've got glue everywhere on my fingers. Okay. What do we have on this side? It'd be kind of fun to put that over, but I don't know what I'm going to have here, so I'm going to leave this side. Well, I won't cut it. That's what I'll do. I'll just glue it, and then if I decide to bring it around the other side... I can still do that. So what I'm saying is I'm not going to uh, cut it yet. I may, or I may bring it around to the other side. Okay. So this is what we have so far. See, I could do something like that. Depends what I do on this page. And then here was from that art book. We have different illustrations. And here. It's like this is a uh, art book, but I don't know, they're making it sound. 
that's complicated. It says, remember also the principle regarding the lengthening of the minor axis as an elliptical form descends below the eye level. Okay. Interesting. Okay, this is a copy dime music. And here I'm going to add... I know I want to add this fabric that I got from a little girl's skirt. And it was like a little gathered skirt here. And uh, look how cute this is. I'll probably add that to the cover somewhere maybe or somewhere. I do know that. So I know I want this here. And I may do an overlay of something also. I'm going to stitch across and then glue it down. All right, when I was over there, I have uh, little scraps over by my sewing machine, and I had this little scrap, so I just sewed it on top. And it uh, gives it a little more interest, and I could add more things over it. I could, you know, add a little bit of lace like that, which is pretty, too. I could just cut, and maybe I'll use my um, pinking shears to give it a fun little edge and I could just add this here um, okay let's just do that so probably go like that and then let's glue this down. This is just how fast I work. I get in a rhythm. And you don't have to be a fast crafter. That's not the point of it. It's just how I craft. Okay, and then I think here, I'm going to do the same thing. Well, let's look at this, okay? This is so cute. I'm loving it. I'll be making more of these journals. Okay, so here we'll do the same. We'll cut the string here, thread, and then we'll uh, make this a tuck. Okay, this has a little I want to glue this down so it doesn't get hung up right here, that paper bag. There's always little bits of paper when you have a paper bag that need to be glued down. Make sure that stays open. Okay, and I was gifted this because I, I know there's washi tape on there. Okay, and then we have that. Oh, look at cinnamon cake. That sounds good. Here is the other side of the uh, drawing artist book. I um, haven't done anything with this. Thicker. It's a digital J. I'll probably, you know, when you put junk, I'm thinking about putting the letters because there's a J there. And then put UNK for junk. Here's a map page, um, and here, um, oh, and I'm inspired by, uh, I think it's called Creative Chaos, and I will put the link to her channel. She had something like this, where it flipped and up, up like this and this, and I think she may have had more, but she might have had a bigger book. So on this map page, I made that for now, just beginning, not done. I just thought I'd show you what I have so far. Um, paper bag. Coffee dye music. And here I uh, have put together, this was the torn edge of uh, the other side of a you know page. And I glued it and sewed. So you can see the sewing. And this coffee dyed paper that folds in like that. 
coffee dye grid. Beautiful with like lace imprint coffee dye paper. Coffee dyed paper doily. That's the other side of that. Like a little calendar page. Digi. And here's some wallpaper that I just received from BB. Um, BB's Creative Closet. So that was pretty there. Thank you. Um, more Digi paper. Here's another bag. Part of the medical book. Uh, this I've had for a while. Uh, probably got it at a craft store. I don't remember. It's been a long time. But then there's a tuck here, and then you'll be able to open this. And then it sticks out here, which I, I like that. And so far, that is my junky, uh, eclectic journal. So I hope you continue to follow along with me. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And also check out uh, Cornflower Crafts for her awesome giveaway. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.